Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your hostess, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. I just want to share this with you guys because we got to stop this at some point, but I'll let you hear it. A successful man. That's the answer. That's the kind of man that doesn't mind raising another man's child. So I see a lot of narrative on social media directed towards single mothers. Like, how do you expect to find a man that want to raise another man's child? I expect to find it because it's reality. Women with children are getting married every single day. So that's why I expect it because that's what I see. That's what's happening. And when I say successful, I don't mean financially. I mean, I'm not excluding that, but that's not what I mean. I mean a man who has raised children who are law-abiding, successful citizens. And they want to expand their legacy. So this man may be 55, hell, 60 years old. He know he ain't having no more kids, but he loves what he's done with the kids that he has. He loves what these kids are doing and where they're at in life. And he would love to duplicate that. He might not want to have a toddler that he got to chase around the house and potty train again, but he wouldn't mind taking an eight, nine-year-old child and pouring into them and seeing them grow up and be as successful ha as his other children. The type of man that would not mind raising another man's child is the type of man who has successfully raised children or who has raised successful children. So ladies, remember that. Don't let anybody tell y'all you can't get nobody because you got kids. Just make sure you're getting the right type of man because they out there. So make sure you get the right type of man to help you raise the kids after you give the kids to the wrong type of man. Is this what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm hearing? And listen, there are always exceptions, right? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Every, every woman that has children from a previous relationship wasn't somewhere out there thotting and bopping or not married when she had them. There are exceptions to this rule, right? But at the same time, it's more often than not that the women have never been married before, certainly weren't married to they, the father of their children, and are now looking for a replacement that they're that that usually they're not gonna respect. I would say more than half the women who are able to actually secure a man who who would not mind stepping into that role. The problem with the stepfather role isn't even so much the fact that the children aren't his, although that plays a, a big part, right? Because men don't typically like to raise children that they did not father. However, everybody knows that things happen, life happens, you know what I'm saying? Exceptions exist now. With that being said, the second major problem with wanting stepdads and men to step in and fulfill the role that for whatever reason, the biological father is not there to fulfill is that the women do not respect the men that step into that role. Being a stepfather used to be something that could be considered honorable mainly because, you know, generations ago, the woman respected that man as if he were the biological father. And so therefore he had full authority in that household over her and over those children. Okay. So it wasn't, it made that pill easier to swallow for the man because at bare minimum, he wasn't being disrespected by the very people that he's providing for, that he stepped into a role, a ready-made family, okay? So you probably wouldn't have this type of problem from the men. The men probably wouldn't protest it so much if, by and large, the women were respectful and 
he was not relegated to the bottom of the totem pole in the hierarchy of the home. And that's what the one of the biggest problems is because y'all get these men and then you be disrespectful to them. You know what I'm saying? You put the kids above them. When he tries to be a place system order and structure or discipline or have an authoritative say in what's going on with those children, you're there to undermine him. You're there to combat him. You're there to let the children know through your behavior that they also do not have to respect this man. They also do not need to, you know what I'm saying, listen to him. They don't have to uh, regard him as an authority figure. They don't have to, they don't have to respect him. They don't got to listen. So it's those behaviors that really have men like, screw it. This, this newer generation of men and even some of the Xers are like, no, that's okay. The only reason you get a few Xers that kind of think it over is because a lot of us was raised by stepdaddies and stuff. Well, not me, but a lot of Xers was raised by stepdaddies and stuff. And so, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't allowed to disrespect that man. You had to respect that man. You were a child in the situation. So if nothing else, a child got to respect their elders and all of that stuff is lost now. So with, with the single mothers of today, y'all don't like no order. When y'all say stepdaddy, y'all mean a man that comes in and provides the stability of a father figure and a husband, but he is stripped of the authority of a father figure and a husband. And that actually doesn't work. It leads to the faster breakdown of the family that was difficult to meld together in the first place. Then the men get to find out why you're single. They get to find out why the vast majority of the time you were willing to have a, a baby, but you were unfit to be a wife. They end up finding that out. So <laughs> talking about men who, and then she's talk, she was talking about the older men too, older exers, basically, you know what I'm saying? You know, mid to late fifties, things of that nature. Listen, trying to dote on an old man or an older man because he may have already raised children. That don't mean he want to raise your little naughty head kid. And your kids bad. Y'all kids be bad. They be unruly. They don't listen to you. And then you tell them they ain't got to listen to him. So the kids don't have no type of really rearing or raising that is happening to them. They don't know nothing about respecting nobody. They disrespect you and then they disrespect him and they disrespect him because they see you disrespecting them. And then you turn around and tell them that they could disrespect them. Okay? So try to dote on a man who has already experienced fatherhood. Okay? And talking about, well, he wouldn't mind taking an eight, nine-year-old. Well, what if he do? He don't want to raise no kids. How about that? How about he already spent his youth or whatever raising his kids so now he done with child rearing y'all be done with child rearing after a while y'all don't want to be don't know a woman that's 58 60 years old want to marry no man and he got kids she got to raise especially especially if she raised kids already she not trying to start that over <laughs> you're ready to be free done with parenthood so he ain't trying to come get your little naughty head of kids and raise them just because he was successful to raise those. Those was his kids. These right here, your kids. And you'll be quick to tell him and remind him at every turn that these are not his children, that these are your children, and that ultimately he doesn't have any authority over either of you. Okay. So I don't know what this chick talking about. This some foolish mint right here. Sure, it will be some simp somewhere that still deal with these chicks. You know what I'm saying? Then I got to find out the hard way why these women are not married or they're divorced or they were never married. 
they get to find out firsthand why being a why they were relegated to being baby mamas rather than wives at any point. Having babies with men that never committed and probably did it more than once with more than one guy. So this right here is foolishness. I don't even have to tell the guys that are listening to me how foolish this is. You know, back in the day, it wasn't so bad. But now in 2024, trying to get one of these chicks and she got two, three baby daddies and you don't step, uh-uh, because she about to be extra disrespectful. She going to play the role to get you roped in as much as she possibly can. And then she going to, it's going to be the day she get mad or the day you, you know, she feel like you got out of line, quote unquote, with her kids. And that's going to be the first thing she tell you is them with her kids and don't talk to them like that. Hmm. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your hostess, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.